One thing that's great about the hydro system is that you can add on to it with different modules when you want to expand. But now, Hydros has the launch, which is more of an all-in-one, get you going fit out of the box. Yes. Talk me through this thing. One of our goals is to give people versatility by creating different brains that have different features. The problem, the drawback of that is when you add versatility, you add complexity. Yeah. You know, and how do we fix that? How do we add versatility without adding complexity? Or how do we handle complexity so it feels like it's easy? Okay. So we came up with the launch, which is kind of like a, a little bit of everything. Okay. I, I joke around, it's like I'm a huge beer fan, uh, beer, drinking beer. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of like your flight. Ah. You're, this is kind of like your flight. You get a little bit <laughs> of Aquarium everything. flight. So we have uh, sense ports, you get four sense ports, universal sense ports, so you can put uh, temperature sensors, water level sensors, TDS meters, flow sensors. Uh, you have four drive uh, ports that are 12 volts, so you can add LED, small LED lights, your small ATO pump. Uh, if you have a small nano tank or something like that, you, most of those pumps the skimmer, the return pump, they're all 12 volts. Yeah. They're very easy. So you add them in here. And then you have four AC outlets that take the grunt work, which is the heaters, your return pump, the yep. big lights, and everything. So once you think about it, with the drive ports, I'm not going to waste a an AC outlet on a tiny little pump. Yep. I can just use it here. Talking about intuitive, Carlos, we have dedicated PH and ORP ports, and I'm seeing a salinity port as well. Yes. Other hydros, you just have input ports, and you know that's all. You can choose which one, but these are dedicated. Why'd you go that route? We wanted simplicity, but 100% simplicity didn't just did not feel right. We wanted, we didn't want to leave the advanced users out. Okay. And if you think about this unit right here, while it looks simple, yes, it's intuitive. I think it's more like. Simple might be the wrong word. It just you can intuitively see what it is, what it can do without you having prior knowledge. Okay. But an advanced user can see the AC outlets, can see the cylinder, and they're like, oh man, this is packed too. This right. is actually really well. So a beginner without pre pre knowledge, preconceptions, they can say, Oh, I know what this does. I may not be sure how it do it, but right. I can see how it does. And an advanced user, I can use this too. Cause I ran into that with hydros, because I interviewed you all I've never I got my hands on one until about the last two months and it's like where do I start I don't know because I don't know what everything does I can walk right up to this and go pH or salinity outlets okay I got it yeah exactly and that's what we wanted that's what we wanted we wanted to answer the proverbial question how do I start but we can also expand it because we have control bus ports so if I add on anything else I got this exactly this isn't the end-all be-all but this is a great starting point. Yes, a great starting point, and it's recyclable. What I mean by recyclable, it means that if you start growing, and then you buy modules and other brains, and then this kind of becomes redundant because yeah. you're getting all that stuff, then you can just grab this brain out of the collective, which you just learned how to yeah, do collectives. Yeah. You can take it out of the collective and put it in a different tank. You don't have to put it away. You don't have to put it in the closet. You don't have to put it on eBay for sale. Yeah. You know, you okay. can reuse it. What's the price point on this? That's going to be five forty nine. Five forty nine for all this? Yes. Including probes? Uh, it's going to have a temperature probe and uh, a pH probe. And you can add the salinity probe yes, if you want. that's correct. Five forty nine for all that? Uh -huh. How could you not want to get started with this? I know. That's what we're thinking. And I, we, we are pretty confident that this is going to be like the number one seller yeah. because it's just, it fits everything. Carlos, we got all these sense ports, pH probes, etc. on the launch, but this is a zero to 10 in port. Yes. Yeah, not at Y. Yeah, you know, a lot of the advanced people look at this and they're asking, it's like, why isn't it at zero to 10 volt out? Oh. I want to control my lights, I want to uh. control my pumps, but we wanted to keep it simple. And simplicity is not just about you. Simplicity is about your partner, your significant other, your wife. Okay. Is a, is making sure that they also find it simple to help you with your tank. Okay. Like you're right here right now. I'm here in Florida. Mm -hmm. My wife is in Chicago, right? She's, let's be honest, my wife, she puts up with the hobby. She <laughs> helps me out, but she's not gonna, she's not gonna go in there and start cleaning the skimmer. Right. Now, if you have a wife like that, you, that you're the luckiest guy alive. <laughs> but you know, most of us, you know, she, she has her hobbies, but it's different. Right. But she is always kind enough to say, okay, I'll feed the tank. Well. What happens if I give her my app with full access yeah, to everything, yeah, yeah. and I have fat fingers, and I've done it before where I press something and then I press something wrong, right? and I, I can fix it, right? oh, I'm, I'm fine. But my wife is gonna be like, 
What's freak happening? Yeah. She's going to freak out. Yeah. Then she's going to call me and I'm going to have to you walk, know, her through this. walk her through this. Right. And it's, I don't want to do that. So what if we could just put a simple button box in there ah. that I can just put that button box and okay. I tell my wife, it's okay, when you feed the tank, just press this button right here. She's happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Keeping it simple. Right. But then let's say I have a friend. I have Connor who lives down the street from me mm -hmm. and he loves the tank in blue. He loves to see my tank in blue lights because uh -huh. everything pops. Yep. I don't care for the blue. I am more of a white with a blue accent. Okay. So what I did is I programmed my controller, my lights to when I press button two, it turns a blue mode where it makes it look like Connor wants to yeah. see it and it's for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I have another button that says water change. Yep. So I click on that water change button and then it's off. Once I'm done with the water change, I click a second time on the second button yep. again because we have that second button. You haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm liking this though. Yeah. So you press, the first time you press, it starts the mode. Okay. The second time you press, it ends the mode. Awesome. But again, it's not with the simplicity, keeping this with simplicity, we want it to be simple for you, mm -hmm. but also simple for your, you know, your housemates, as okay. we call them, to make it easy for them. So I love the idea of a zero to 10 in, can I get this on other modules in the hydros? That is correct, you can, and you actually have it because you have an X4. So uh -huh. the X4 actually has a zero to 10 in and a zero to 10 out. out. So you have four channels in and four channels out. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's why you come and talk to people at trade shows, you learn a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, come over, you know, ask us questions, that's what we're here. Okay, but it doesn't have a dosing pump, but your minnow over here... Yes, it does. Does. Let's move over Let's to that and I'll give you a tour. All right, Carlos, the minnow. Yes. Two dosing pumps, some sense ports, tell me the thought behind this. Simplicity. Simplicity. Um, let's say you have a freshwater tank, a small freshwater tank, or a saltwater tank nano, and you just want to monitor your alkalinity, or you want to do an automatic water change for a freshwater tank, or you just want to dose calcium and magnesium, and calcium and alkalinity. Yeah. This is it right here. And it's a brain. It's a brain by itself. So it can also sense temperature, water sensor, then you can have a leak detector, yeah. and something else, and then you have the two dosing units. Obviously, you're, you're going to have to manually test. So this is perfect for like Jimmy, because Jimmy's manually testing. He loves he, them. He, he like, his favorite thing in the world is for him to manual test. Exactly. He loves it. But for now, until the end of the year, yeah. he's going to have to do it manually. And this is perfect, because then after he tests manually, he can program it to, to dose whatever he needs daily basis, and he can make adjustments on the app. So since I have four sense ports, this could be a high, a low, and one of these could be an ATO. Correct. So it's a brain with an ATO. Absolutely. And I can sense other things like temperature and pH. I mean, this is like a great almost starter pack. Right or here. you can do ATO with this yellow, the number one, and then you can do alkalinity with the second one. Yep. You know? Or calc. Or, saturated or calc, calc. Saturated calc. All right, now, this one's right here not meant to run constantly. Okay. They can run at 15, at, I'm sorry, 25, 40, and 50 milliliters per minute. Okay. Okay. They can also run in reverse. So that. Ah, uh -huh. you do a water change. Okay. Exactly. So you get a lot of versatility out of this little dude. Yes, yes. What's the price on this? Um, two forty nine. For all that? Yep. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you got the blue ports right here, so yep. you can always add it to a collective. So this pack, this minnow right here with the launch that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, an easy way to have dosing and more sensing. And since it's on the collective, it's a, a brain that... AC redundant. outlets, pH. Um, or RP and salinity. I mean, you have everything right there. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had that thing in there. Somebody asked, it's like, what does hydros, does, what, do, what doesn't hydros have now? What is missing? I was like, lighting? I don't know. The man's giving it away. Maybe. <laughs> maybe we don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so I know I'm going home with the launch. The minnow makes a lot of sense. I mean, all of this makes a lot of sense. There's places to start now, wherever you are on the spectrum of controllers, whether you're a veteran or you're a newbie, you've got every mark, part of the market covered. Yes. Oh, well, good job. All right. Thank you so much. Take some of this stuff home and start playing Absolutely. some more. Absolutely.